My name is Kadari Hawthorne, and I'm a part of the Recording Arts Program, and today I will be interviewing Anthony Brown, who is a student at Full Sail, a part of the Creative Writing Program. What do you see as the role of visual arts in society today, particularly your profession? Anthony's answer was, my profession is creative writing for entertainment. This includes movies as well as stories. If I'm working on a novel, visual art can help with the cover for it. If novels are turned into films, there will be poster arts made for it. The poster art and artwork will get the audience excited for the product. New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantaneously available. Do you believe this is having a positive or negative influence on your field slash industry? Anthony's response was, I can think of a few negative influences, but for the most part, I believe it has had a positive influence on my field. In the analog days, a writer would have to meet with the artist, discuss the artwork for the cover. Now the artwork can be sent via email. What popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? I see many movies made on best-selling novels. To help sell these novels, an advertisement that reads, soon to be a major motion picture, appears on the covers. These novels include The Silence of the Lambs and the poorly written Twilight series. I also see images of films displayed all over the place. Who is your favorite visual artist, and what is your favorite style of visual art? And Anthony said, These days, movie posters are boring and photoshopped. One of my favorite visual artists is Drew Struzan. He has hand-painted the posters for over hundreds of films. These include Star Wars and Indiana Jones. How has your knowledge of famous artwork influenced your creative process? I have always been interested in mythology. So when I see artwork of mythology, it can inspire me to create my own myths or my own stories.